Here in Carondelet, we have found the ultimate triple threat, a bakery, an ice cream shop, and a coffee shop all wrapped up into one. We bring you to a place that will absolutely put a spell on you. I scream. Yes. You scream? Always. <laughs> For ice cream? Of course. Sophie, I'm so glad to meet you. I'm excited because this is the place I've heard about where everyone comes to get that special type of ice cream. <laughs> yes, that's what we're going for. How special is this place? <laughs> I mean, it is the most special, we think. Um, we make ice cream sandwiches from scratch. We make other frozen novelties from scratch. My wife and I started making ice cream sandwiches in Columbia, Missouri when we were grad students in 2019. And we decided to name all of the ice cream sandwiches after witches because we couldn't resist the pun. <laughs> and then it has just been so fun to continue that tradition. I have to stay up to speed on my witch media. We're always looking for suggestions and it is the most fun with kids. Kids will come in, they know every witch on the list. Yeah. Just the concept itself. Where did it come from? A friend came up with that name. We thought it was so fun. We just used that as our as our jumping off point. We really love to get creative with our flavors, and so sometimes we kind of try to match the vibe of a witch character with a witch flavor, and so <laughs> it's just more opportunities to be creative. All right, Cammie, you gonna show me how the magic happens? Yes, I am. <laughs> I have a coffee background and I joined the Sugar Witch team in May. Naturally, I had to think of how to combine the ice cream with the coffee. Good. So one of the most popular ways we do that is with the cold fruit float. Uh, first, we make, similarly to how we make the sandwiches, we make a big tray <coughs> of vanilla ice cream and cut it into cubes as if it were the sandwiches or ice cubes. Mm -hmm. So we have that here in the cup. We are gonna doll up our nitro cold brew with our house-made chocolate syrup. Uh, how, how sweet do you like it? Uh, sweet enough. You know, okay. <laughs> you know I was gonna say, the aroma just hit me. The coffee yeah. aroma? Yeah, it's strong stuff. We use um, coffee stamp as our coffee roaster. We pick up beans from them weekly and make everything in-house. So here I just measured out my cold brew and my chocolate syrup, okay. stirred it up really well, and then I'm gonna pour that over the ice cream. And then we top it with our house-made whipped cream with dairy from Rolling Lawn's Farm. Might as well put some chocolate syrup on top. Or <laughs> what's, your, what's your story in terms of coming yeah. here and involving people, involving family? Neither Martha nor I are from this area. Um, we're both we're from opposite coasts. <laughs> we've ended up here in Missouri and we've been very successful at drawing family members into St. Louis. We really try to make it a space where um, everybody who's working with and for and on the Sugar Witch product project has a lot of opportunity for creativity and to really make it their own. And we have been we have benefited so much from other people's creativity and interest in what we're doing. How fun has it been to work here? So much fun. Sugar Witch has allowed me to just be fully creative and support anything I want to try out. You know, it's always. Uh, yes, we'll try it. Uh, would you like to make it as well? Of course. All right, so okay. just go ahead and just... Uh, yeah, slowly pour along slowly. the spoon. And then once I see it's kind of calm, I can go ahead and start to pour yeah. it a little bit. Excellent. And give this just a couple of shakes. Oh, you <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Everywhere. Uh, okay, and then squirt. And yeah, kind of make a circle starting from the side. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> no good. one gets it the first time. Yeah. It's gonna taste the same. Okay. What was the concept of putting together this building? We sort of um, stumbled into this building through a series of serendipitous coincidences, connections that we've made, other restaurant people in St. Louis who have been super supportive and looking out for us. One person sent us down here to take a look at this building. He said, you have to just check it out. And we were thinking, oh, it's too big for us. What are we gonna do with it? This storefront is little, but the kitchen is big. But we came down and we said, okay, we'll go look at it. And it was 
just such an incredibly cool space that we thought if we can figure out a way to make this work, let's, let's give it a shot. This neighborhood is really interesting and historic and we thought we want to be a part of what's going on down here. We've just been met with such enthusiasm from people who they think we're doing um, sort of a unique thing here. We love our ice cream and so I feel like we've really gotten to know the foodie community in St. Louis. Folks are just so excited to see something fresh and new. The sort of the, the Midwestern welcome has really been extended to us. I'm learning um, how to sort of get more into that Midwestern groove, which has been wonderful coming from the East Coast. And this neighborhood is so exciting. There are a lot of things sort of bubbling up down here. We have such good neighbors at Wind Down and Stacked and Perennial. And so it's exciting to collaborate really actively with folks who have a real vision for what a wonderful neighborhood this can be. This one is a bit Ursula. Every sandwich is hand wrapped, hand cut. Mm -hmm. Right? That brownie though. <laughs> Ooh. See, I just, this just happened in two parts. First, I just said, wow, that's good. And then something else happened here. Did the salt get you? It got the me. Sea salt on oh. top. That's <laughs> magic. Oh. Yeah, and people are like, oh, let's let's just split one. And then they take the first bite and then they're like, There's no never shower. mind. I have to get another. <laughs> There's enough here. We don't have to Yeah, share. we have plenty. Mm. This is all. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh.